time for Community Corner. Breathe in, breathe out. Today on Community Corner, we're taking a look within with Upward Inertia. It's an occupational therapy, yoga, and mindfulness group that they strive to help our vulnerable communities. And we're welcoming executive director and program developer, Kayleen Rogers. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, and this is my jam. I love the mindfulness and just kind of the the being present practice. And I love the fact that you're bringing this to everyone in the community because there's so many healing properties to this. Yeah. For those who are not familiar though, tell us a little bit about Upward Inertia. So Upward Inertia's mission is to improve mind, body, and social emotional wellness um, within vulnerable populations, within marginalized communities. So currently we're providing classes in five different prisons and really trying to reach people who otherwise may never have had access or have access in the future um, to yoga and mindfulness education. And we take a little bit of a different approach to yoga. You know, we really touch on all of the aspects. So we do discussion, really focusing on self-awareness and skill development. We do breathing, we do mindfulness, we do movement. Um, and we really try to pull it all together so that they understand how they can use all of this in their day-to-day -day life. Oh, that is so smart. Like so brilliant, truly. I'm, I am overjoyed to hear that you are doing this. Help people though understand why it's so important. Not only is this practice important to everyone in their everyday life, but why in particular is it important that you're able to bring this to vulnerable people? So a lot of what we see, I'll speak specifically to prisons right now because yeah. that's who we're mostly working with, but um, I mean really everybody. You know, developing coping strategies, developing self-awareness, understanding how things are affecting you and feeling comfortable sitting with those things and understanding what changes you need to make or how to use these big emotions as a catalyst for change in your own life. Mm. And even just understanding what your body needs and how to you know, take better care of it can be so empowering. And so for a lot of people, um, those are just skills that weren't really taught to them, you know, whether it was through parents who didn't have that knowledge or um, whether, you know, they just weren't ready for it earlier in their life. Um, and, you know, not having that type of knowledge can lead to all sorts of things, whether that's addiction or, um, you know, unhealthy relationships or just poor sense of self. Mm -hmm. You know, really when we start to give people these tools, then they can transform a lot of aspects of their life and lead a healthier, happier, more fulfilling life. Yes, and, and I, so well said and so important because also, I mean, when people don't have the ability, like you'd mentioned, to acknowledge those emotions and know how to work with them, sometimes they're going, well, not sometimes, usually it can result in uh, having negative ways to manage that, right? And then sometimes those negative ways can also lead to bad choices, right? Right, And then that can lead to, you know, other situations. So yeah. I think it's so smart that you're offering this opportunity to kind of do some inner work and work on stuff at the root right? Yeah. Which is so important. So this is awesome. Where did the Thank idea you. come from? How did this even begin? So I'm an occupational therapist. Okay. Um, and I've always, I started doing yoga when I was in high school with yeah. my mom. Um, it's always been a big part of my life and my journey. And, you know, as I was working within the medical model, I was just seeing that over and over, we're giving people band-aids, you know, and not really addressing the root. And especially when we look at mental health, yes. when we look at things like depression, anxiety, I, you know, I'm all for medications if that's going to help somebody, but we need to give them other tools that are going to be a long-term solution, right? Like how do we deal with anxiety? How do we calm our nervous mm -hmm. system? How do we understand mm -hmm. where it comes from? Mm -hmm. And so seeing that within the hospitals, I was yeah. like, there's more to this, you know, Yes, I can give more. And so... Um, I actually started volunteering, and then when I was seeing how powerful it was and how much people were getting out of the classes, I, you know, decided that was it and started the nonprofit and um, just have really been so blessed to see it grow and to be able to touch so many lives. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing it. This is fantastic. Thanks. Where can people go so they can learn more about your organization, uh, learn to utilize your services, but then maybe even lend some support too if need be? So our website is the best place. Um, it's www.upwardinertia.com. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Um, and then this summer, we're gonna be having a wellness festival that is gonna be free to the community. We'll have classes all day. Um, I'm gonna be teaching a capstone class at 
two, so the event is from 10 to 2 on September 28th, and at 2 o'clock I'm going to be teaching a class that's kind of the class that I would teach within the prisons or yeah. for whoever I'm working with. Um, and so if you want to experience it, that's a really great place to come. Um, you can always donate through the website, and you know if you're interested in volunteering, um, re email us through there. Wonderful. Thank you so, Thank you much. so much. Greatly appreciate it. And everyone, stick around. More to come here on Idaho Today right after the break.